Our in-depth coverage of the Aaron Hernandez murder trial continues now. Tonight, we're digging into why the prosecution is fighting to allow testimony about a 45 caliber gun that Hernandez reportedly owned. Odin Lloyd was shot with that same kind of weapon, and so far, that one has not been found. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto is here now with more on what the prosecutors say would be key testimony in the trial. Prosecution wants the jury to hear testimony from a friend of Aaron Hernandez, who said the former football player had a 45 caliber weapon about a month and a half before the murder. Aaron called me to see if it was in his nightstand. Robert Paradise testified last month without the jury in the courtroom that in April of 2013, Hernandez and Ernest Wallace picked him up in an L.A. airport, and that at that time, Hernandez had a gun with him. Did he ever make reference to a particular caliber of firearm? A 45. The defense argued there was no way to put that gun in Hernandez's hand. There was absolutely no evidence that any firearm that may have been in California could have been transported back to Massachusetts to be uh, the murder weapon. Judge Garsh agreed, and in an appeal, a single Supreme Judicial Court justice decided against overruling Garsh. Now prosecutors are asking for the entire high court to hear their motion arguing not allowing the jury to hear Paradise's testimony about the potential murder weapon would, quote, deprive the Commonwealth of a fair trial. Just tell us about that. Prosecutors what also argued that Paradise's testimony would counter defense efforts to poke holes in this surveillance video that, according to testimony, was taken minutes after Lloyd's murder. In my opinion, the... a witness from the Glock gun company testified Hernandez is holding a pistol he identified as being the same make and model as the murder weapon. The former player's defense team argued it could be a television television remote control or another electronic device. The prosecution is asking the high court to deem the testimony admissible or to hold a hearing at the earliest possible date. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.